of Varty, the evil wind mage, a demon of dark blood. He has terrorized Hyrule several times. This evil beast is a true villain. Or maybe not. Hi guys, Arafio Between Worlds here. Fati is a famous and awesome villain, and even the second primary antagonist of the Zelda series. So far, he has appeared in three Zelda titles, The Minish Cap, Four Swords, and Four Swords Adventures. Fati was born prior to the Minish Cap, turning himself into a dark sorcerer by stealing the Mage's Cap. He is stopped by Link, but returns in two games as the main antagonist of the Four Swords subseries. He is a true villain. An evil man, right? Well, are we sure about that? Let's look at Fati's history. Fati was once a Minish boy. He was the apprentice of the Minish mage, Eslo. One day, Eslo made a magical cap, the mage's cap, which would grant the wish of its wearer. Fati, who admired the evil hearts of humans, stole the cap and transformed himself into a great sorcerer. He took over the land of Hyrule and stole the light force. He transformed himself into an evil demon and he was defeated by Link, who carried the Force Sword. Centuries later, he resurrected and terrorized Hyrule once again. He has no memory of his life as a Minish, but he is again defeated by Link. Centuries later, he is revived by Ganondorf, who transforms himself into Ganon, but both are defeated again. So, this guy's a real villain, right? Or, maybe not. Was this evil demon really what Fati wanted to be? Did he want to be a monster, full of hate, and destroying everything? He was just a child, a little boy, the apprentice of a wizard. Fati wanted to be a good wizard, but maybe Aslo did not accept him. Some days ago, I read a story on Zelda Amino about Vati's mind, which is an awesome social media app about Zelda that you should check out. This was a fanfic about Vati before he transformed into a sorcerer. In this story, Vati tries his best, but Eslo doesn't seem to like his works. Vati feels shut out and underrated, but Eslo tells him he is talented and he wants him to be a great sorcerer. And I believe this story is true. Maybe he was just trying to make Eslo proud of him. He admired the hearts of evil humans. Maybe because they were powerful, knowledgeable and great sorcerers. Eslo wanted to make him a good sorcerer. So Vati took the mage cap to make himself powerful. But this had a bad influence on him. He started to look at things in a different way. As soon as Eslo saw him wearing the cap and being shocked and angry, Vati felt disappointed in himself again because Eslo did not accept his skills. Vati had turned into an adult and he was very different suddenly. First, he was shy, shut out, different than the others. But then, he became greedy and evil. He forgot about his Minish life. As soon as he put that cap on his head, he started to forget what he wanted to do. He wasn't trying to destroy everything. He wanted to make Eslo proud of him, but his soul changed into an evil man. But Eslo wasn't proud of him, so he panicked and wanted to be better by claiming the light for us. But by his desire for power, he became evil. After being defeated, he did not remember everything. He was just innocent, but his soul. His mind was taken away, he turned into a destroying demon. He wanted to make his master proud, but their dream changed into becoming the most powerful creature in the world. Just look at him, he's a small boy, so innocent. Do you really think this little boy is that demon? He looks so different from the other Minish. He has red eyes, a white skin and grey hair. He's not like the other Minish, he must have been shut out and bullied by the others. He was not important because he was different. He has been through so much, he felt so sad, he just wanted to tell him that he was important too. He is also a Minish, 
He just wanted their attention. He wanted to show them that he wasn't a weak, stupid kid. He started to hate the Minish, but humans were so powerful and great sorcerers. He wanted the attention. He wanted to be equal, but he never was. He was different, bullied, ugly, a loser. He wanted to be like the others. He wanted to show them that he was important too. Nobody loved him. I hope there will be a game where Fati can return to Eslo and live in peace and be loved by his master. This seems like just a sad theory, but I truly believe this. And as we like Fati so much now, maybe he finally is happy.